Hey guys, it's James, and this video is like a series of to get your BL Touch installed on the Ender 3. And this is probably going to be the last part of the series, uh, getting your XYZ offset and plugging it into the printer. If you really want to install your BL Touch, you're going to have to watch some of my other past videos. Get a standard piece of paper and clip it to the bed like so. Make sure it's flat. You want to auto home? And if you check, um, if you do the move Z down, it's at zero. It's not going to go down any further. The bed. Now, when I go to move axes and then move the Z, if I try to move the Z uh, lower, it will not move lower than that zero point. I can move it higher like this, but it will not go lower than that Z point. And that's kind of like a, a safety, so your nozzle doesn't crash into the bed and your BL Touch doesn't crash into the bed. So you want to go to the uh, control screen and you want to go to here to motion. Click on motion and then the probe Z offset, you want to just lower it to a negative number. And you want to try it at different increments, like a 2, negative 2, and then depending on where you see the nozzle at you want to test it again you want to go to main prepare auto home and then we're going to auto home it again And you're t testing to see if the nozzle actually touches the bed. It doesn't show too well on camera, but as you can see, there is still a gap. And then so we're going to do that again. We're going to go here to control motion the Z uh, the probe Z offset I actually already know the uh, Z probe offset for my mount so I'm just gonna put the number in again if you don't know what your uh, Z probe offset is um, you want to do it in increments and try to find out the exact uh, Z probe offset of the bed in relation to the nozzle and then so I'm gonna do it and then main repair and then we're gonna have to go auto home again show you now this is going to be like the perfect level for me I, I might raise the Z offset by maybe 0.1 millimeter once you figured it out and have your Z probe offset what you want to do is you want to go here and then control and then you want to do the store settings. Click on the store settings. Then you should have your Z offset the next time you uh, turn on your printer. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and turn it off. 
then turn it on prepare auto home So again, I'm going to lower the camera and then check it again. As you can see, it lowered it to that point. So it's stored in memory on the printer. Now from here, what we're going to do is, this is not really necessary, but if you want to find out the, the relationship of the probe with, uh, to the nozzle, uh, we can do that. And then I'm just going to move the axes of the Z up. So we're just going to raise it up, one, two, raise it to an increment about 10 and then what we're going to do is go to move axes, repair, we're going to go to BL touch and then we're going to press deploy. Now from here. Again, we're gonna move the Z down. Remember, we went Z up one, and then we're gonna go down. So right about there, the uh, BL touch touches the bed. That's about a five. It's gonna be a plus five. So now we're going to go to the main control BL touch and we're going to stow it. And again, we uh, lowered it to the zero point. And then just to verify, again, the nozzle touches the bed. The relationship of the nozzle to the, the BL touch, because the BL touch is gonna be lower than the nozzle, is a negative five. So that's the Z offset of the BL touch. Now what we're going to do is, I'm going to go back up, so we're going to deploy the BL touch again. And then I'm going to do a, uh, I'm going to move the Z until the BL touch, the probe touches the bed. So I'm going to mark that area where the BL touch touches the bed. Right there. I'm going to lower it just to make sure it touches it. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is prepare. 
I am just going to auto home it one more time. And just make sure the uh, BL touch, uh, the probe touches that same exact area. Great. So as you can see, I'm increasing the temperature of the nozzle to 200 degrees. As you can see by this indicator. Okay, once it hits around 200 degrees, you can just manually feed the, uh, the filament. Just slightly manually feed it. And then... What I'm going to do is go to prepare, move axes, Z, move it up, then I'm going to move it to the X direction. Then I'm going to go ahead and move it down. Just leave it on for about three seconds and then you can go ahead and move it back up. Then you're going to go to the right side. And then you're going to go ahead and move the Z down. And again, just leave it on there for maybe a couple of seconds. And then raise it back up. I actually don't like this one because um, this one has too much of a blob. So I'm just going to go ahead and auto home it again. And then it should just stick it right in place. Okay, I'm just going to raise this back up. Okay, this is taking too long. I'm just going to turn it off. I'm just going to raise it up. As you can see, we have three points. I'm just going to take this off. And remark it. And 
because pieces of the uh, paper tear off, you can actually get the center point right there. Right there. And then you're just going to get a ruler. Just going to mark it. And then you want to try to use a right angle or corner. Make sure this is butted up against the line. Try to make it into a 90 degree as much as possible. And then when you measure this distance from here to here, you get your X. And then from here to here, you get your Y value. So if you measure it with the millimeter, you are going to get negative 44, negative 44, and... A Y of 7, negative 7. So you have your offset values. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the offsets and then just plug in those numbers. It was negative 44. This was a negative 7, and this was a negative 5. I'm going to plug it in, and then we're just going to go here and upload. If you click on upload, it should uh, save it and then upload it into your printer. Okay, so it's uploading done. I'm just going to disconnect and then go ahead and turn on your printer and test everything out. So the last thing you're going to have to do is add a couple of lines to your starting G code on your slicer program. I'm using Cura. Uh, this is like one of the most popular slicing programs out there and it's free. I'm going to go to printer. I'm going to go to manage printers. And then I'm going to go to the machine settings. You have to select your printer first if you have more than one. Go ahead to machine settings. And then right here it has G28 home all axes. Right underneath it you need to put a G29. That's going to run the BL touch. And then what you're going to have to do is run a M500. That's going to save the mesh. So this has to be there. This uh, You have to change these two lines right beneath the G28 home all axes. And each time you run the print, it's going to run that code before each print. Also, while printing, you can go to this tune. And then if you go all the way back down to the baby step, you can lower it or raise it uh, and then adjust the baby steps while the print is actually printing. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question below. Go ahead and like and share the video and thanks for watching.